Hey everybody, welcome to the Damsels in Debate podcast. I'm your host, Tina, and um, I have my uh, second time coming back guest here. Uh, this is Alex. Hello. Uh, so I mean, I'm glad you're, you're back. You decided to come back. Glad this is the it. sidecast dorks in debate. Yes, yeah, because we're both a couple of dorks. <laughs> no, but we wanted to um, talk about, I know, I guess we could say we're kind of late, but whatever. Um, we wanted to just briefly discuss some of our... Uh, favorite Robin Williams movies. Uh, as everybody knows, he passed away um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, what was it, August uh, 11th, I think? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a couple weeks ago, almost a month ago. But, uh, of course, we were very sad to find out about that, uh, like everybody else. And um, so, yeah, we just wanted to go over a few of our favorite movies of his. I will say up front, um, being totally honest, there are a few of his that I haven't seen, more of his uh, dramatic movies yeah. that I haven't seen. I, so. I, I'd like to see them, too. It's, it's a shame that I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, I, I agree. So uh, we'll say that up front. <laughs> but also, I think because of our age range, uh, you know, growing up as uh, little kids in the 90s, uh, that's when his, uh, I would say, like his... Prime probably was, at yeah. least movie wise and stuff. So um, that's just another thing. I was you know cool that we could bring to the table. But uh, oh, and I, and we will I we'll, might have spoilers for any movies we talk about. But uh, we'll list all of them in the uh, episode synopsis. So anyway, uh, I understand that you found some uh, trivia or some stuff you already knew, but uh, some interesting facts about Robin Williams. Yeah, uh, just a couple things. Uh, what did you find him on IMDb, I think? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, just, just like different things about him. How he performed in nightclubs before doing stand-up. Mm-hmm. And then he took, uh, I think it was like 20 years where he did no stand-up at all. Before going back and he did that live on Broadway, I think it was. And it was uh, a yeah. pretty big hit. I remember seeing that. But some of his early stand-up, I, I didn't I didn't really see any of it. No, I, I was mean, too young. I, yeah, I've just seen like a couple of random clips <laughs> on YouTube and stuff. Like you said, um, our age group mm-hmm. doing for for doing this about him is basically the the '90s movies is where yeah. I've seen all of them. Pretty much anything before that, I really didn't see, and anything after that, I kind of kind of tapped out. Same tapped thing out a little bit. Yeah, you know. same thing with me. <laughs> I think what what he was he was first found in the TV it was Mork and Mindy. Yeah. Or it was Mork on Happy Days. It says 1974. See, yeah, I didn't realize that that was a uh, that Mork came from Happy Days. Neither did I. <laughs> um, I remember seeing like a couple of really random episodes of that show, but I, I can't say that I actually. Yeah, that that it. was more I guess our parents. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I I remember them doing the Star Trek symbol. Mm-hmm. With the, with the hands and nanu nanu yeah I yeah that, that yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> when did you hear about his oh when um I was actually you know it's funny I, well not funny but um I was actually over at Shamara's house when we were making our little group figures oh. and uh, I just randomly went on Facebook and I was like what is this and then Vanessa actually texted me like right after I saw that yeah so and Facebook then, seems to be the yeah. uh, the go-to for news. Well, I guess Twitter, too, but I'm not a Twitter user, mm-hmm. so I guess Facebook comes next. You, you you saw it on Facebook, too? Yeah, I was um, I was just scanning through some, you know, looking through my feed or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, one of my group chats said, you know, oh my god, did you see the news? And right as he said that, mm-hmm. I was reading an article about what uh, had happened, yeah. and I was like, wow. And, like, within about three minutes... I was trying to search if it was a hoax or not because mm-hmm. sadly that seems to be a fad now. Yeah, People yeah, People like right. to do hoaxes of celebrities dying. Mm-hmm. But within those three minutes, Facebook just exploded with posts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely did. Um, that yeah, the same thing happened with me, and I was just really hoping it was one of the jokes, but sadly it wasn't. I do want to mention, um, not to like plug another podcast or whatever, but if any of you guys listen to the uh, what the fuck. Uh, podcast with Mark Maron. Have you ever listened to that? Explicit warning. Uh, well, there's an explicit warning on, oh. on iTunes. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> but I don't know if you've ever listened to that, but he interviews uh, people. And he, uh, he he talks about himself. He's a comedian. And okay. he's pretty funny. But he, um, uh, I think that week that uh, Robin Williams died, he uh, they uploaded like a, an older episode they had done, I think, two years prior. And it was uh, it's, it's a really good interview. He does talk about... Um, 
you know, depression and, and his addiction problems and stuff like that. But it's a, it's a really, really good interview. So I would suggest listening to that if you're yeah, a fan of his. I, I've, I've never heard, but I'll definitely check it out. Mm, yeah. It was a good one. Yeah, supposedly that is the reason it was depression. Yeah, yeah. And that his... he had battling it, had been battling it for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then his, I think his wife had um, said that he also was in the early stages of Parkinson's also. Yeah, and so. he didn't want to tell anybody, which is which is sad. Mm-hmm. That's the same Michael J. Fox. Uh, yeah, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, the same thing, yeah. That just take me a second. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, was, I, I wasn't 100%. Yeah, <laughs> I know that when I because when it when it happened, uh-huh. you see so many articles. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember hearing that he was a big fan of uh, Christopher Reeve. Mm, see, I had no idea about that. <laughs> and uh, they stuttered. They studied at Juilliard together, and then after mm. that, they just became real good friends. And I remember Christopher Reeve saying, I forget where I saw it, but saying that it was the first time he had smiled since. Oh really? Wow. Happened. When he was talking to him. So I had that was really no cool. clue. There's not two people I would like link together or anything. So. <laughs> no, most notably, I remember him as the genie. Right, right. The genie will always be from, you know, the best Robin Williams memories, mm-hmm. I guess I have. There's yeah. a couple other kids' movies, uh-huh. but the genie was, was... So you'd was, say that's probably... Aladdin would probably be your favorite? Yeah, definitely. You know, I really struggled trying to figure out what my favorite movie was of his. Um, just because, same thing, it's like in the early 90s, what you got, you got Hook, um, the, the Aladdin, uh, the, there's Jumanji, um, what else, uh, Fern Gully, mm-hmm. uh, what else, Toys, well I guess that's not really Toys I never saw. Oh really? That That's an odd movie. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember hearing that it was very odd. Yeah. And I just never sat down and watched it. Yeah, it's definitely not, like, I remember, I think I went to see it and we were kind of like, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> but it's, I would say watch it, um, but it's it's not what I expected for sure. Yeah, I remember, like, seeing trailers and, mm-hmm. and thing, hearing things about it. I think my, my, my father and her parents saw it and uh, I remember wanting it to be, like, big yeah yeah and i heard that it was not that kind exactly of a, it, it that's what everybody was thinking and different. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um yeah so there was that and then um I, I the one that i kept going back to for for me my favorite and most enjoyable the one that where he made the movie was mrs doubtfire yeah um that movie I, ugh, I i did go to the movies to see that and i've seen it just so many times over the years i think i can recite big chunks of that movie and uh just yeah uh, he's hilarious in there <laughs> the part where he's cooking and he uh his boobs catch on yeah, fire yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like ah! or was it uh, the drive-by fruiting or something yeah, like that yeah. <laughs> yeah that was funny too uh, yeah I, I, that, that's, that's a pretty that much well renowned movie anyone that has saw oh, that yeah yeah you know loves it and then i think there was talk about it doing a remake or a yeah, sequel or something like that yeah. and now i they, they can't do I think it. they just, squashed just leave it. it alone. Oh, God, no. Could you imagine? <laughs> that would be horrible. <laughs> but uh, The Birdcage, also, oh, too. Oh, yeah. We were talking about it before, what, what our favorite movie would be, and mm-hmm. that was really close. And the only reason I didn't give it to The Birdcage is because I don't think that Rob Williams was the reason that I really loved that movie. It yeah. was, like you said, an ensemble mm-hmm. of, of, of people. Yeah, I'm glad you pointed that out because I was, I was like, torn between the two because I, I love The Birdcage. Yeah, it's a great movie. But like you said, it's, it's more of a uh, an ensemble kind of thing. So while he's great in it, mm-hmm. I would still... I would go with Mrs. Doubtfire <laughs> for me. But, you know, Aladdin, of course, is uh, right up there. But then Hope, he also has... <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. Then oh, he okay. also has... Um, you know the, the the less comedic and the more serious drama. Yeah, yeah. Acting. I mean, he won best supporting actor for Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, I remember that actually. I watched. I actually watched that year's Oscars. <laughs> and that was a, a really good, really good movie and a really good performance. Yeah, he he was great in that movie. I and that was uh, one of the scenes my brother posted when he passed. Oh. Um, I saw a lot of people post that when he's sitting on the bench. Mm-hmm. And he does that speech. Yeah, he's talking about love mm-hmm. or something. Right, right. Because his wife, I think died in the movie or something but yeah 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 that was a a really good movie of his um also uh i i wouldn't say it's like a good movie but it's just interesting it's an interesting watch because he's so different than what he normally is is a one hour photo (laughs) did you ever see that oh yeah i saw that and then the same year was insomnia 
That I didn't um, see. I wanted to, though. But one hour photo was creepy. Uh huh. <laughs> it was different. Yeah. He played a very creep, so that was cool to see. Yeah, yeah. That that kind of character, those types of characters, always really creep me out. So I like watching those kinds of movies, and it was just so weird to see him in something like that. And it was a different, a different story. I guess the early two mm-hmm. thousands. It was more of a time where people took risk. Yeah. In, in newer original storylines, mm-hmm. you know, and now it's like seems like everything's a remake or reboot reboot or something Sequel, like that prequel <laughs> so it was something that i had never seen before like a you know a stalker yeah you know kind of like yeah. that idea it was it was new and so it was cool yeah you keep waiting for him to like break out in the some song or impression or something and then insomnia uh he played with what was it al pacino i think mm-hmm. plays the uh the head of the the movie and he has insomnia and Rob Williams' role was, like, the villain, I guess, but more of a side, you know, supporting actor. Mm-hmm. But he was also really, really good in that as well. Hmm. Now, uh, some notable... Oh, no, wait, hold on. You saw The Fisher King, right? Or no? The Fisher King I did not see. Oh. I think I've Oops. seen, like, a piece or two. Okay. But I always get that mixed up with The Big Kahuna. Oh, really? Which was also, I think, around the same time, but with... Um, a couple other people and it was like a totally different thing yeah the fisher i've heard of the fisher king and i think i attempted to watch it once a real long time ago and i just never put it back on but i've always, you always hear about that one i always wanted to see awakenings the movie with him and uh robert de niro so now that's going back early 90s oh yeah 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 but i mean it just and, and two with more of his that was like before he kind of blew up into the kids <laughs> yeah spotlight. that's true yeah um before that was Dead Poet Society, which everyone says was one of his yeah, best. Yeah, I know. We really, really got to get on the ball and watch that movie. Yeah, we both have <laughs> never seen it. Yeah, for I did sure. watch. I did watch uh, the clip of him standing on, or the kid standing on the decks, mm-hmm. the desks. So that was pretty cool. I'd like to see it now. Yeah, I And then agree. Uh, Popeye, which uh, you said you had never seen? No, it's one of those movies. Since I was a little kid, I always wanted to see it, but just never did. You know, I saw it, and <laughs> yeah. it's not a great movie. <laughs> And I remember hearing that he did not want to do it. Really? Yeah, I remember hearing that somewhere. It wasn't in my notes here, but correct me if I'm wrong if you look it up <laughs> and find out. But I remember really hearing that he was he was signed on and he had to complete the movie for some reason, but uh-huh. he really did not like the way that it was going and how it turned out. Oh, with like and something script, like that. Probably yeah. direction. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch it just because it's. So it's a movie that I've always meant to see. <laughs> and then movie C almost was in. Uh, he was uh, originally offered the role of the Riddler in Batman I, yeah, Forever. Yeah, I remember hearing that way back in the day. But then, like, Jim Carrey popped up and, you know, he was, like, the new go-to he stole it from crazy him, yeah. guy. Yeah. And then also he was supposed to be uh, the guy from What About Bob? Yeah, to see, that I did not know. Yeah, I didn't know either of those. That's, which is also very I mean, cool. I could totally see him playing that role. It'd be a little bit different, but I could totally, <laughs> I could totally see him playing that. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a great movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it with the uh, improvisation, that was his pretty much specialty. So oh, I think yeah, he could pull yeah. it off. You know, back to Aladdin. Uh huh. The genie had almost sixteen hours of ad lib. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's a lot of. You know. But I could totally see that, though, because even when you see him in, like, interviews and stuff, he just, when he goes, like, when he starts, that's it. He's mm-hmm. just on. For, and it's, like, like, very back and forth. Yeah. You know? It's, like, I feel like I would have trouble keeping up with him. He for actually sure. ad-libbed so much that the script was turned down for Best Adapted Screenplay because it was so different than the original <laughs> screenplay. Wow. So they couldn't give him the nom. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that was his his big thing, <laughs> for sure. But um, yeah, I've seen that in interviews and stuff, and it's just it's crazy. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> and then he was also turned down for the uh, supporting actor uh, nomination because he only voiced the uh, the performance of Gene. Oh, okay. And they couldn't. And, and you know, I think that would be different today. I think probably. he would he would probably got it if it, that movie kept came out today. Yeah, because um, I mean they're talking now. about a. Uh, you know, like the what is it? Uh, capture motion capture motion cap, yeah. and actors and stuff. Apes yeah, and stuff like so yeah, you know, you never know. <laughs> but that would that would be interesting, for sure. Another little funny thing was uh, he was frequently called up by Steven Spielberg when they were filming Schindler's List uh-huh. because it was such a downer. He just put him on speakerphone and made everyone laugh. <laughs> mm. 
Well, I mean, yeah, that must have been a pretty grim set. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just funny, like, you know, a director just, you know, let's, let's call Robin Williams up and make, yeah. make the cast laugh. Hey, what you doing? That just shows, you know, how much of, you know, yeah. a great guy he was. Yeah, definitely. And I know that he, uh, what do you call it, performed for the troops a lot and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, too, I did, so did, I did a see a little like clip that. of that, him yeah. performing for the troops. Yeah, so it's just... And yeah, then I also did is. watch a clip, mm-hmm. of, like, what was it, five minutes of an original stand-up. Oh. And he did, like, uh, I can't remember what he did, but it was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. And I would like to see a, a couple of the original mm-hmm. stand-ups where you... What was that thing that he always did with um, Billy Crystal and Whoopi Goldberg? I don't it, like, remember. Com- comic Relief or Comedy Relief or something? I think it was, it was something like that. I think it was called, like, Comic Relief, and it was, like, some stand-up thing special that they did a couple of times or something. Oh, yeah, I don't know. The only thing... Um... I guess, I don't know if that's the same thing, but inside the actor's studio, mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, that's was the that show. Them? Oh no, that's with that guy James Lipton, you know, who's real oh, yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. And they they bring on actors and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But after when that was being taped, it was 1994, and a man in the audience was had to be hospitalized because he was laughing so hard <laughs> that he got a hernia. <laughs> oh my God. Could you imagine? Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> like that's. You I'd like to see that funny, that episode then, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should look that up on YouTube. Actually, maybe I'll post a link on uh, our Facebook page so people can watch it because that would be pretty interesting. He was also uh, a real big gamer, which is which is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. You know, being into video games myself, and and kind of trailing off as you get a little older. It's cool to see you know older adults still really into it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, his daughter was named Zelda. So. Now you know that's funny because like I didn't know about the whole gamer part, but I did. I remember at one time hearing that he had a daughter named Zelda and I was like Zelda the only Zelda I know about is from the game and then that was it and then but then when you said that I'm like oh well I guess so (laughs) yep yeah that's why that's what he named her after oh that's interesting (laughs) he was a vegetarian that I didn't know either and that that was later on in life he had to get open heart surgery Mm, and then uh, yeah I guess that'll turn anyone into a vegetarian (laughs) oh yeah that makes sense (laughs) But yeah, it's, 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 it's a shame. Um, he's uh, very talented and very uh, gifted. And definitely, I mean, you saw it on Facebook. The yeah, news feed was just for days afterwards. Mm-hmm. It was just all yeah, this it, stuff. Yeah, it was like, like I said, within three minutes, mm-hmm. I was searching online to see if it actually was a hoax. Mm-hmm. And then I went back to Facebook to comment, yeah, man, I, I saw it and it's really messed up. And Within those three minutes, I there was about twenty posts yeah. from different articles, people all saying, "Oh man, it's you know, it's it really sucks." Yeah, yeah, it's it's really really unfortunate. But um, yeah, he's got a, a great selection of movies. Yeah, um, definitely. And then, uh, well, I didn't, I'd never have actually seen the Night at the Museum series. It looked cute, but I've never seen oh, any. Oh, you never of them. saw? Them? No, I, I I saw the first one. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. But um, it's it's more of a kids movie, I guess. Right. That, that's why I said it kind of left the ball. Uh-huh. It left the ball or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, Happy the feet idea, I didn't see either. Oh, uh, I did see that one surprisingly. Oh, it was okay. I, I didn't yeah. really like it that much. But um, Night at the Museum, I always thought had a very interesting concept. But uh, no, I I must admit I did not see any of those. But there is another one coming out. So and I secret of the tomb. Mm, yeah. So he'll be in there. So I, I'm guessing that's his going to be his last I think movie. They finished. The, yeah, they finished it because it's in post production. So yeah. So yeah, I, I guess that I will be. I feel like we last. saw a trailer for it sometime in because I I've we seen something for it. Yeah. yeah we <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that I don't know. But yeah, um, if you uh, folks have any uh, would like to share your favorite Robin Williams movie or performance or whatever funniest scene or something just uh feel free to comment or yeah, do anything so wait, you what want did we uh you picked aladdin i picked aladdin yeah and i go i went with mrs doubtfire mrs doubtfire okay yeah. i do love batty in fern gully also <laughs> and that's funny uh they were just watching fern gully oh yeah yeah and uh also uh hook i gotta say hook my holds name a special. is batty <laughs> yeah he's really funny in there uh, Hook we mentioned in the last sidecast uh, with John Williams doing the oh music. the soundtracks yeah yeah they, that's that's I, I really like that movie it's it's sometimes long I sing and stuff songs. but <laughs> yeah, yes you do <laughs> but yeah um so that's that's our take uh, on some of our favorite Robin Williams 
Lawrence's roles. Man, I can't talk. <laughs> roles. Yeah, I had a few blunders. <laughs> you should go back and watch Aladdin. Yeah, Everyone yeah. Everyone should just I'd like have to. to. Watch I haven't it again. watched it in a while, so. I wish they would re-release that in the theater. That would be really cool. Well, when did that come out? 92? Hmm? Maybe, well, no, 2002, 12. So, the, man, that movie's over 20 years old. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, well, maybe for the next anniversary they will. You know, the 20, 20, Did 25th they, have anniversary. Have they released any Disney movies? They re-released Little Mermaid. In and, the theater? Yeah, and uh, Lion King. It's funny we go back to talking about Disney movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he, he was in a... Well, hold on, what else was he in? I feel like he was in more Disney. Oh, he's in Flubber, but that's not an animated movie. Oh, uh, Flubber, I never movie. saw. Oh, really? I remember my sister watching it and uh-huh. like me being in the other room, but oh, yeah. never actually watching it. It was uh, it was cute. I mean, I don't really remember a whole lot of it, but yeah, it was okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah, Aladdin and uh, Aladdin and Birdcage are probably the top ones. Yeah. Oh, we didn't talk about AI, which was. Oh, I didn't eh. see that movie. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's why we forgot to talk about it, because it wasn't great. Yeah. It was one of... Steven Spielberg, I think, did it, and it was yes. like his, like... Steven Spielberg goes up and down. Yes. He does his great movies, <laughs> and then he does his... Eh. <laughs> yeah, I remember the general consensus of that movie being basically that, what you just said, so that's why I never really rushed to go see it, but it was... Eh. Same thing with movie Father's Day. I don't know if you saw that one. See, now, I read that on the list, and I have no clue what that even is. Oh, that's a movie where it's... It, the whole big deal about that movie was that it was Robin Williams and Billy Crystal in a movie together. You know? <laughs> but it wasn't That's really... Not a big deal. Well, it's because they're both considered really funny at the time. Yeah, I mean, but that, that that's how, you know, that's how it was built. So, but it was all right. I, I don't think it was like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I still, I don't even know anything about it. Mm. Not ringing any bells. And he does have a cameo in Tu Wong Fu. And I, you haven't seen that? or what you have that? Tu Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Julie Newmore. I have no clue. Oh, okay. Well, that's a great movie. But he has a, a quick cameo in that movie. But it's, it's a very good cameo. <laughs> so I just had to mention that one. And I think he's done some voices on, like, some Disney rides or something, too. I feel like he was in the Timekeeper show that's at the Magic Kingdom. Or that was at the Magic Kingdom. But don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of any really cameos. Like some some actors, you know that will do cameos more more uh-huh. often, and I don't I don't really know. Yeah. Too many of you that he's done. Me neither. Well, that's pretty much it. Was there anything else you wanted to add? No, it's it's pretty much here. Yeah. So yes, um, go go watch a Robin Williams movie. Yeah. As soon as we get our hands on it, we're gonna watch Dead Poet Society. Cause yeah, that will be the next one. Yeah, that me we, too. That I watch for him. Get on that for sure. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, if you would like to send us any feedback, you can email us at damselsindebate at gmail.com. You can uh, listen to all our episodes and uh, leave us comments on our website, damselsindebate.com. And you can follow us on Twitter and, uh, you know, retweet or, or tweet to us or what, you know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and tweeting. Uh, tweeting, yeah, just basically. <laughs> and then you can also find us on Facebook. Uh, just look for DID Podcast. And now are you on YouTube yet? We are on YouTube. I'm in the process. Of, yeah, yeah, I know it's been a long time coming, but we're finally on YouTube. Um, we have our little Groot video on there. You can check that out if you want to. And um, I'm in the process of uploading all our episodes on there, so it's taking me a little while, but... I'm getting it. So we're, we're going to be fully functional on YouTube very soon. But just look for Damsels in Debate. And you can subscribe to us and comment and all that crap on there, too. And... Sounds good. I think that's everything. Except for, uh, yes, you can rate, review, and subscribe to us on iTunes and on Stitcher. All right. Well, thank you again, Alex, for no being worries. on this episode. Thank Actually, you for you, having you, me. you came up with the, this topic, so thank you for that also. And, you know, I think it was better that we waited a little while. Because mm-hmm. out of respect and also... It being done so, you know, yeah, I agree. Flooded the market, so it's just like you know, we're not really trying to do anything but just talk about how cool he was, right? Exactly. Know? Yeah, I agree. So yeah, thank you for that. Yep. And all right, till next time, we're out.